Hi, David Kane here with another question in topic 1.1. We're looking at uh, fundamental units. We want to know which of the following is equivalent to the dual. Um, so to answer this, you might just know off the top of your head that the dual is a derived unit, and it can be express expressed in terms of fundamental f i e. Uh, you may not know exactly what those fundamental s i units are, um, but there is a way to figure it out. And it's called, uh, it's, it's a process called dimensional analysis. Uh, to do dimensional analysis, you need to know some sort of equation uh, that relates the joule to, to other things. So you may know, for example, that kinetic energy can be calculated by the formula 1 half times the mass of an object times its velocity squared. You, you may know this, you may not uh, at this point in the course, but I'm sure you're going to know it very well very soon. Um, so what we have here is an equation containing quantities that each have units. Kinetic energy is a form of energy, so its unit is going to be the joule. And the units on this side of the equation should be equal to the units on this side of the equation. One half is a constant. It's just a numerical constant. It has no units. Uh, but mass has units kilograms, and velocity has units meters per second. But we have velocity squared, so that's going to be meters per second all squared. Simplifying on the right-hand side, we get kilograms distributing square in meters squared per second squared. And we see that the joule is equivalent to a kilogram meter squared per second squared. This kind of dimensional analysis would help you in, in questions like this, but it could also help you in cases where you think you kind of remember the equation, but not quite. You can check and make sure that the units on both sides of the equation match. If they don't match, you know you have your equation wrong. If they do match, it doesn't necessarily mean that your equation is right, though. Um, something to keep in mind. It's called dimensional analysis. 